Okay guys, here's my diversity setup for Nano FPV. I'm using the Eagle Eyes ground station for diversity and this is the input from receiver 1 and input from receiver 2 and what you see over here is the voltage regulator from Fox Tech. It steps down my tree cell to 5 volts and it does a really good job because it has very low noise and these are the two nano receivers I've got from Foxtet as well and they seem to be doing really well in picking up the sickness okay let me show you by plugging in the power supply to the transmitter the video transmitter which is also from Foxtech there you go one gram camera in, in the heli I'm not sure if you can see in the video but it's working see how I move the heli around move it around in the house A lot of people ask me how the one gram camera perform and actually it's not too bad. I mean if it has enough exposure and brightness, the colors are okay and it's really light. And you can mount it on a small heli like the MCPX over here. And this is the one gram camera. Okay. Now let me show you the diversity and how it works. I'm using a USB extension so that it's easier for me to set up the ground station when, when I'm out at the field. Okay, I've moved my heli with the video transmitter to my study room as you can see in the TV here. So that um, the transmitter is much further away from the video, video receivers here. And as I mentioned, this is uh, receiver 1 and receiver 2. Okay, um, let's check out the diversity feature of the eager eyes and see how well it works. I'm going to do so by blocking the signal to the first receiver. Yep, it switches to the second receiver. There you go. The beep sound that you hear comes from the eager eyes and it's telling you that, that it's doing the switch between the receivers. Seems to be working really well although I haven't set any um, tuning to the sensitivity of how fast it will switch or when it will switch so I'm going to fine tune that to, so that I have the best results that uh, when one of the video receivers is not getting the proper signal it switches fast enough to the other receiver and I can't wait to try out a few because uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to remove the stock antennas which are for li linear polarization and replace them with my 4 turns helico over here this is uh, my homemade 4 turn helico and the completed product would be something like this at the field with one of the helicos pointing this way and, and the second one pointing this way so that I can get a coverage of 180 degrees hopefully at the view. Okay, that's all for my review of the diversity of the Eagle Eyes unit and showing you guys my whole setup for Nano FPV. I hope you enjoy the video. See you.